So this video is going to deal with uh, concepts of binary numbers and representation of uh, different things within what they call one's complement and two's complement. Uh, when you deal with binary numbers, you don't always just use them in a weighted system. Uh, so what we're going to do is treat these two math concepts first, uh, make sure that you understand them, and later we'll go on to see how they're implemented. So let's do the one's complement first. Uh, if I have an 8-bit binary number, and that number is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, I can have a 16-bit number and a 32-bit number. I could even have a 3-bit number if I want to. I'm just trying to um, pick something a little bit more practical. And that's the binary number, and I tell you to take the one's complement of that. And I'm just going to abbreviate it like this. Uh, it's a pretty easy thing to do, because all you do is take all the zeros and make them ones, and all the ones and make them zero. So this zero becomes a one, this one becomes a zero. Uh, just take the opposite state of what it currently is, and that's the one's complement. Pretty easy stuff. Um, now, there's another concept called the two's complement. And as I said, we're going to stay in the math realm right now and just show you how to do these things. Uh, we're not going to explain how they're going to be used. We'll do that a little bit later. So the two's complement, just a little bit more complicated. Um, let's talk about how the process works. Let's pick an example to do that. So let's put another binary number up here. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And I want to find the two's complement of that. Uh, so what I do is um, the two-step way is to first take the one's complement. And we know how to do that, right? Just change all these to the opposite. And then to get the two's complement, you have to add one. This is bi These are binary numbers. Binary addition's easy, right? One plus one is zero. Carry the one. And that's a 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And you would carry that 1 uh, however you needed to get the answer. And that's the 2's complement of uh, the original number. And like I said, it's a math concept right now. When I ask you to get the 2's complement of a number, uh, this is the process you would do. Um, there's a shortcut. So let me erase this in between here this is the two-step method and it's nice to know because there's a little weird situation sometimes that some people don't like and they use a two-step method but um, with the shortcut method we already know the answer let me explain the shortcut to you um, when you have a number and you want to take the two's complement of it if you take your hand and cover from the left hand side, cover your hand over and up to including the first one. Right? So my hand would be over top of these, so I can't see those. Um, and then what I do is, what my hand isn't over, I just do the one's complement like I did before. And you can see um, that's going to go pretty good. Then I uncover my hand and just write this down. And that's the shortcut method. And it works. It works every time. Um, and I know both methods. Uh, like I said, sometimes it gets you out of some quirky situations. Uh, so let's do another example quick um, to make sure that we understand this. Let me get my eraser out here. And we're going to do the twos complement again. We're going to pick another number. And I'm going to pick one that's... Uh, and I, I see some people have trouble with, or maybe a little bit. Okay, I have 8 bits again. Like I said, I could have an 8-bit number. The problem is find the 2's complement of this number. I'm going to use the shorthand method. So my hand's covering this, covering this, remember, up to and including the first one. So I'm covering all this up. And the part that I don't cover up is 101. And the part that I do cover up just remains like it is. Okay? Uh, the only way to check that really is to do the two-step method. Um, that's the two's complement. We, we think that's right. We're pretty confident. 
Uh, but let's do the two-step method. The two-step method is uh, do the ones complement first, right? So this is the ones complement of that number and add one to it and we should get this answer, right? One and one is zero carry the one. 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 And one and zero is one. And then one, zero, one. So it checks out. Uh, the shortcut method works every time. So this, these are concepts called the ones complement and the twos complement. Remember how to do them. They're math concepts. Um, they're going to be used for little shortcut tricks in the future. So uh, these two examples should get you uh, pretty far along the line. If you have more questions, you'll, you'll have to ask someone. Um, we're all available to help you with that. And we'll see you in the future. Thank you very much.